The underground sepulture is possibly one of the more difficult heists to pull off in ESO. Your objective is similar to that of the hideaway in that you need to locate one main treasure that spawns in one of two possible locations, plus three hidden caches that can spawn across a number of other locations. What makes it more complex is that most of the spawns locations are scattered over a wider area and require a bit of hunting around. Also this heist includes a number of hidden locations and a downstairs location which I won't explore in this video though if you do enter it you'll find there is also another cache that also spawns down there. So to begin with we're going to head left at the T-junction, watch out for the NPC here who sometimes will be stood facing up the entrance passageway. By these wooden fence panels here there is another NPC who patrols, the heist will randomly give you either sentry NPCs or trap laying guards. Just behind this wooden fence panel here is the first of the hidden locations in the heist and possibly the most useful to know. At this end of the hidden location you may find a hidden cache spawn so it's always worth checking just behind here. But whilst at first this may just look like a hidden room there is a passageway that leads off it and connects to the north end of the map. Just be aware that there are two tripwire traps and a bear trap in the narrow corridor. I triggered some of them here completely on purpose to show you where they are. As you leave the hidden passage, be on the lookout for the NPC who walks around in this area and also the bear trap on the floor on the left. In the northernmost room there are multiple sentries who patrol so navigating around them requires a bit of care. On the left here is also the stairway that leads down to the downstairs section, so if you accidentally fall into this downstairs section this is where you will come out. One of the two spawn locations for the main treasure spawns under the platform here. There is an NPC who walks very close to this location so you should take extra care when heading towards it and make sure you tuck right against the wall whilst opening the chest to minimise your chances of being spotted. Just before we leave the room it's worth noting there's a hidden cache that sometimes spawns up the ramp under which the main treasure was hidden. There is another sentry who walks around here and also a poison trap which as you can probably see on the screen can take quite a large amount of health from you. The hidden cache is located directly opposite the top of the ramp. If by this point you have gained everything you need you could just head straight back up the hidden passage towards the exit. If not there are a few more spawn locations for hidden caches along the eastern corridor. There is one sentry here who moves back and forth in front of the stairs to be wary of. Whilst at the top of the stairs another NPC sits in the corner. He can be avoided though by creeping past behind these crates. This next bit is a little tricky. There are some planks over a hole in the ground. If you fall down it you will end up in the downstairs section. There is an NPC who guards this side and another sitting in the corner on the other. Plus there is a sentry who patrols the corridor by the other side. However if you get past all that there is another hidden cache spawn in the room on the right here. And another in the room just across the corridor. Again just keep an eye out for that patrolling sentry. If you're now done you can now head up the stairs back towards the exit. Watch out for the NPC here, he moves between just the two locations at the end of each stairway. The hiding spot here can be handy. You will also need to be aware of the boss, who has the lantern mechanic and also occasionally patrols this area. Once you've had an opportunity to move, head up the next stairwell and turn left towards the exit, being careful also of the very first NPC who was up on the landing ahead. Unfortunately the spawns don't always fall in the locations shown, so starting again from the beginning of the heist after the first NPC I want to show you the other possible spawn locations. Once again don't forget to check in this hidden room here, but this time we won't be travelling down the secret passageway. As a quick side note to something I haven't mentioned in the other videos, these heists are able to be completed at virtually any level if you know what you're doing. For example my Khajiit character was level 13 whilst I recorded these guides. This time we're going to head down the stairs here. In the corner ahead there is another spawn location for a hidden cache, but there is an NPC who patrols in front of it. If your stealth abilities are good enough it is possible to sneak past by hugging the wall on the right and jumping over the crate ahead, but if you're not so confident you can get around him as I demonstrate here by tucking behind the pillar and waiting for him to move. When he moves back from the far end of the corridor you will now have the window of opportunity to move around and grab the hidden cache like so. On the next stretch of the corridor keep an eye out for the sentry as patrolling. The second possible spawn location for the main treasure is located in this room on the left here in the northwest corner. Be careful of the three NPCs in this room, one stays in the northeast corner and another in the southwest corner so you need to take a diagonal route through the room, however the third NPC moves between the other two NPCs so you need to make sure you time it well.
back in the main corridor, the room on the right here also has a spawn location for a hidden cache. It wasn't there when I recorded these guides, but you'll find it sometimes in the southeast corner of this room. You just need to be careful of the NPC who walks back and forth across the end of the room in front of the chest. The final hidden chest to show you is in a little hidden cavern at the northwest end of the map, just down the stairs from the last two rooms. Past the broken wooden barrier, there is a cavern within which you may also find one of the hidden caches. When returning from this side of the map, you will need to remember to be on the lookout for the NPC at the top of the stairs here. It is possible though to sneak by on the right when he is in this position shown on the screen, carefully skirting the very edge of his stealth suppression radius. Once past him, it is a matter of just sneaking back past the remaining three NPCs. Just be aware of the boss who patrols between both sides of the heist dungeon. Quite often you find with heist the biggest trick to learn is knowing when to wait and when to move. Patience can often be your friend at times. Once past the final NPC it's just a short sprint back to Farandar to complete the heist. Thanks once again for watching, hopefully this will have been some help to you. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other videos I have done previously.